So when a patient has an advanced directive on file, especially when they've designated a power of attorney for health care, we have a much easier time knowing what to do when really something really scary is happening with their medical care. We saw it really as a necessity. Um, we have seen other families go through not such good things when, when they don't have plans wrote out for what they would want to see done for themselves. I wasn't aware of what advanced care planning was until I talked to my wife and to be honest with you, none of us are really getting younger and I had no idea that she actually had an advanced care plan already made up, so I figured I'd give it a try. I wanted it to, to be sure that I was um, ready or prepared so that my family was prepared in any case, in the worst case scenario, uh, so that they didn't have to make any decisions that they wouldn't want to, wouldn't know how to, wouldn't know how to do in my, uh, what I would want them to do. Well, I had a recent family member who I had to make that decision in the hospital, and I did not, we did not have it done. It wasn't done beforehand, although we had talked about it lots of times. I'm like, I don't want to leave my children to have to make that decision on their own. I'm going to take care of that decision for them. Not having an advanced care plan with any sort of indication of what he would uh, prefer or not prefer, in addition to not having any one, pay, one person, whether it be a family member or other, designated to um, make decisions for him, made it uh, an interesting scenario where um, certainly he needed a legal guardian, uh, but also somebody who uh, would be able to uh, make those complex medical decisions uh, for him going further. You know, I'm 73 years old and I'm single and I have to take care of something if something happens to me. Oh, I don't want anybody thinking that this is not what we really wanted. Yeah. So this way it's in, it's in writing. We don't want them to feel guilty. Right, you know, take the guilt out of it. This is, this is what we're, our wishes are. Having conversations with your loved ones, with your clinician, thinking about past experiences, and then teasing out what your goals and values are. And we know that the better the conversation, the better the document that someone can create. Each time I meet with people in the Advanced Care Planning Clinic, it's different. People come in and everybody's unique. They have their own beliefs, they have their own life experiences that they get to share and talk about. I think it's important for people to know that you are thinking about the end game here. N nobody's getting out <laughs> alive. So uh, yeah, I think, it's, I think it's important for people to know about it and to take advantage of the service. It was super, super easy because the questions are all pretty straightforward. I had pre-filled out a little bit of the paperwork with name and some of that general information. I had some questions on, what's, uh, on what some of the questions actually meant and she explained it to me so well and answered all the questions that I had and it really took a very short amount of time. She just went through all this stuff and had me check off the boxes that I wanted and I'm telling you, it, it, it's a great piece of work and everybody should do it. Just going through what uh, any possibilities and just questions that I might have and then, yeah, signing a few documents saying what I wanted to have happen. And having someone or a professional with you at the time really helps being able to answer the questions and know exactly what they're looking for and what you're looking for. And it just makes it easier to fill out the sheet. She made me feel very comfortable and um, made me feel like all of my questions were important and not silly or stupid or whatever. They all needed va validation, so. They made it very comfortable yeah, and very sure. easy. And uh, we actually, like I said, that was a good day to have that done. By the time we get to the last page, I hear often, that's it. I thought it was going to be so much harder than it was, or I'll hear, um, at home, I just got stuck doing this, but coming in and walking through it with somebody has just made it so much easier. Well, I guess overall, it was just a really good experience, and it was nice to have someone there with you, especially when you can come with your own family. Being my wife there makes it more relaxing and just 
able to go through each question and just figure out what exactly is being looked at and what you should be writing down. Just make an appointment like any other appointment and uh, we've done it in the past um, but we did just update it again you know it, it was time you know things change. It's not a one and done. It is endearing conversations that are actually gonna follow you throughout the course of your lifetime. I would not expect someone at 18 to have the same plan at 30, or at 45 to have the same plan at 60, or even at 90. And that's really the beauty of those ongoing conversations, because as our life changes, so do the decisions that we make for ourselves. I would just recommend that everyone do this. Nobody's family member at a time of crisis should have to make that decision. If you already know what your thoughts are, always let your children know, let your, um, whoever you think is gonna be there to make a decision. In my case now, it would be my children. I wouldn't expect them to have to make that decision for me at that point in time. You know, I, and I, I feel bad for like friends of mine that are, are couples and you know, what happens if they get in an automobile accident and both of them are knocked out? You know, you need something like this to cover you. You don't need kids fighting over the future. Unfortunately, seeing a divide created among family members um, that j just had a difficult time even sitting in the same room to uh, make decisions uh, and have everybody comfortable with those decisions. At the end of the day, there's no right answer or no wrong answer. There was just different options that um, had uh, upsides uh, to them, but also downsides at the same time. Certainly having an advanced care plan where uh, we have one designated person and hopefully which the, the person has confided in uh, some of their preferences of if this happens, then this is what I would like or what I wouldn't like. Having that roadmap is very, very helpful and I have definitely seen that play out um, over the course of my career many, many times. When, when we don't have that, that roadmap or the, uh, some general preferences, um, then it becomes the, the best guess uh, that we can all collectively make as to what that particular patient would like. This just is a huge relief to have it done. I've been wanting to do it, I have it done, and now I know that I have a sense of control that my wishes are documented and they'll be in my medical record. Most of us have gone through the thought process of, well, if I was in this position, I would or would not want to pursue X, Y, or Z. I think what was really important for me was the I like specified that within, if there's been 30 days with no change and there's no chance of me getting better, then that's also a situation that I don't want life-sustaining options. And that was really important to me. I mean, it just makes it easier on your family members. Yes. That's, that's a real biggie. It was easier with mom because we had had long talks about what she really wanted and we didn't do that with dad, so there's a lot of questions. It's really easy and it doesn't take too long and it just feels smart and feels good and it helps take away pressure from the people who love you. I think that that's a really important part of it. And like I know that my parents have an advanced care directive and so that takes pressure off of me as the like person who would be making those decisions. And so it just feels good. Yeah. I thought it was nice too to be able to hear like him vocalize his decisions and choices that he would want so then I'm better prepared in the event that anything were to happen. So I see this every day where someone is in a tough situation medically and their loved ones have to ask themselves what would my mom, sister, brother say if they were awake in this moment about how the medical team should take care of them and when they've written something down or talked to their family about what they would want in situations like the one that we end up in, then they, that family can rest easy knowing that they're making the decision that their loved one would have made without having to question, ask themselves, gosh, is this really what dad would want? And that is such a gift for them to be able to sleep at night.